Yeah, I think we build off of what we of what we saw. We saw um, a team who was ready to play uh, match day uh, one, team uh, who also had a week less of preseason than uh, every other team in the league besides Columbus, of course. Um, so I think we saw some good, we saw some bad, we saw some things uh, that need improvement, and that's what we worked on during the week. Um, it's a different game, a uh, different opponent, different scenario. Um, Real Salt Lake's first home game, this will be the third game total. And so we expect a, uh, a team who um, is looking for their first win of the season as well um, and uh, who will be coming to beat us. Um, so our players know that, we've prepared them for that, and we'll have solutions. What do you think about uh, Omar Campos? He assists to goal, he's in the first game. How do you see his uh, performance in the first game? Uh, very well. Um, we, we were happy with uh, Omar. Uh, in preseason, and he learned our system very well. He's adapting to to football here in the United States, um, which is different than in Mexico. Um, and I couldn't be happier with his perfor perfor first performance. Um, and um, what we see in training um, is more than what he showed in the game. So there is more imp room for improvement, and we expect that of him. And um, you know, I hope he has a, a long career also with the uh, Mexican national team. That would be great. Steve, uh, going into a match where, you know, obviously a conference opponent, but a couple friendly faces in that roster, uh, maybe in different teams and previously with us. Um, how do you do you kind of prepare uh, to face players that you've kind of known uh, per se pretty well? And, and how do you apply that differently? Um, it's actually easier because um, Obviously, Chicho is a player we know very well. He knows us, um, so it goes both ways. There are no secrets, but I think it's um, a player that obviously our, our team has seen in training for a long time, and we also know his qualities and his danger, his dangers, uh, but also his deficiencies. And uh, no player is perfect, and so um, I think it sometimes it makes the opponent scouting easier. The only challenge is to get the new players on board and up to speed. Open up the questions on Zoom. If there are any takers. Uh, we have a recorder. Okay. And then, uh, final question, Steve. Um, so, uh, what do you, what do you look for now? You know, still early on in the season, going into this match. What are, what are the kind of things you, you you look for? Building, like you said, you you're building off from from the first match, taking those positives, but now. Do you look for more of a rhythm going into the second, third match? Um, kind of what are your expectations on, on that set from your, from your team? Yeah, we're looking to Im improve on the points. Um, we already talked about, you know, points of interest for us are, you know, trying to get in behind uh, opponents' defenses, uh, get in their box, create chances. Um, we're not too interested in a whole lot of crossing um, other than the type of crossing that we saw on, on our first goal against Seattle. Um, and so I think those are the moments we're looking for. We're also looking for moments uh, of high pressure and, and winning the balls in opponents' halves. These, these are the points where we want to improve on, um, which is also a question of fitness. And each game we play, uh, our team will get fitter. And um, so, yes, I expect um, a little more in those areas, um, assuming the field is in, in good playing condition, which I think it will be, and the weather plays uh, a good role as well, or doesn't hurt the game. Hello everyone, yeah, we are very happy about first game, but now we are focused for Saturday because we have the game versus Real Salt Lake. We know this team very good because last season we played a couple, couple times with them, so hopefully it will be a good game. Physically, how did you feel? First game and the next game? Uh, of course, it was first game, so I still uh, feel that I can do more, but I think uh, I felt good on the Saturday and I hope so during the next games I will feel even better. What thing about the fans? Though? Yeah, this was was crazy, you know, first game opener, the, sta the stadium was packed. It's, uh, it's very nice to play, when, to play when the stadium is full. I really love it and I hope so we will have like that every game. And last question, can you just talk a little bit about the your goal, the goal of the week, and how, what, what were you thinking? How great was it to come out and get that first goal and, 
and how does that set you up for, for the outlook for the future games? Yeah, obviously every goal when I score I'm always happy, but this one was really nice. So I'm very happy that I start the season very well and I hope so it's not my last goal and many, many more will come. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, with our our off season and then our preseason, uh, both of them being shortened, you know, we came back later than the other squads. And so we weren't sure just how our fitness would be and how we'd be kind of off the start. So to come in, beat a really good Seattle team like that on a short preseason uh, with not quite the fitness that we still need to be at and all those things is a big, big, uh, big win for us. Great start for us. We obviously still have so much to, to grow in and, and to work on and, uh, but a ton of good ideas, really good, uh, uh, moments in the attack. Um, a lot of good things to build off for sure. So, uh, I think all overall, like everybody is excited, sees the potential of what we can be again this year. And, uh, and that's really exciting, but still, uh, a lot of work to be done. You guys are going to RSL, that high altitude. How do you guys prepare for that here in training? Yeah, that's another tough part, right? Seeing the altitude early in the season like this, as we're still kind of getting our fitness and getting our legs, uh, not ideal with the timing, but the guys are uh, just warriors. You know, every time we step on that field, we want to win and we want to give everything we can. And so uh, it'll be a really good test for us and really good for our fitness too, to push through some of that some of that heavy leg, some of that like lack of oxygen, those things. So uh, the guys are ready to go. I think building off of what we did last week, uh, a lot of positives defensively, a lot of positives in the attack. Uh, the goal is to, especially for this year, be consistent with that. When we play at our best, we can beat anybody and, and have shown that. But we, you know, for a year like last year, you're playing every three games. You're never really at 100%. You're always just kind of getting to the next game, like barely able to put up, put out enough to, to go compete another 90 minutes. And this year is going to be different. Having a full week rest in between each game, Saturday to Saturday games for the most part for the first like 10 or 12 weeks uh, is going to allow us to hopefully be on our best foot for each of these games and put us in a really good spot for the season. I know everybody's excited about David Martinez who got here last week. Uh, what have you seen from him in training so far? Can you tell us about him? Yeah, uh, really, really cool guy. Good to have him in. Uh, he's just a young kid, still getting adapted to, to the speed of play here, getting adapted to living in a new place, new country, new city, all these things. There's so much that goes into a transition like that off the field. You imagine being an 18-year-old kid moving away from everything you know to come to a new city, new country, place you don't know the language. And so you got to take all of that into account. And then with all that to the side, though, you see this guy's skill. You see just his comfortability on the ball. You see him coming in and already showing his personality as an 18-year-old uh, in a new squad, new club. And uh, those are the type of guys, the guys that come in and immediately day one are showing kind of who they are as a player, aren't afraid to like just play simple and that sort of thing. This guy comes in day one and he's already – kind of using his feet to find spaces and get out of tight spaces and uh, run at players and all that stuff. So when you see that early, like he's showing it, you just know he's gonna be a huge asset for us. And uh, and as he adapts to, to the speed of play here, I think with his technical ability, you add the speed of play that we have here in the MLS, I think this guy's gonna be special. So uh, super excited about him, yeah. Last and final question. Um, Talk about Salt Lake, an opponent that, you know, obviously within your conference, but in the past seasons we've had uh, good matches against them and always pose uh, a good a good game. And, and you're facing now a couple friendly faces that used to play with us. Kind of what's knowing them and, and learning from what you've trained with them. Like how do you go into this match uh, mentally and, and you know preparation wise for, for the match? Yeah, it's hard in the, when historically the last couple of years we have had favorable matchups. It's hard when that's true to, to not uh, take the game lightly or think like, okay, well, we've been on a good streak because uh, the, the tendency is for the team to kind of drop its level, for us to drop its level, and for them to be even more hungry to come and beat us when they haven't been able to beat us for, for you know, a handful of matches. And so... Uh, we got to be really, really careful. Also, at the beginning of a season like this, when things aren't um, 
like things are still growing and things are still building it's not that we're not playing our best football right now in this moment so we've got to be really careful to not assume anything and come out ready to to play and to be intense and to work hard and uh and not just kind of lackadaisical thinking things are going to fall in our way so we got to make things happen when we go there uh i have no doubt we'll we'll do that for sure